interested in is user-created content. And videos like this are an example. Uh, and with user-created content, there's a lot of different issues with regard to intellectual property. If this were to be posted on YouTube, for instance, what is uh, your intellectual property in this? What is mine? What is YouTube's? Uh, who owns this in terms of the content that is made available to YouTube uh, as part of their business model, but you are the filmmaker, I am the User-created content is also an issue in intellectual property in the area of fan communities and gaming communities, where a lot of the content that gets shared on a site like YouTube or LiveJournal or um, Twitter is often associated with content that is created by uh, major media companies but transformed so that you'll have fans writing fan fiction about their favorite television shows, they'll be drawing fan art of their favorite actors, performers, um, and posting them to places like DeviantArt. They will be uh, remixing videos from TV shows uh, with favorite songs in order to make commentary about the relationships between characters. They will put the trailer, the video of one film's trailer to the soundtrack of another film's trailer so that you get Muppet versions of the Hunger Games, for instance, which I'm kind of afraid to look at. <laughs> I know they're out there, but, but the thing is there's a lot of transformative use of copyrighted content and the copyright status of that user-created content and user-manipulated content that is a significant question in today's intellectual property environment.